What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to be talking about weighted random. So before we get started, this entire project is available for download for free in the description of the video. And uh, this is actually a series of videos. So if you're just tuning in now, there's a bunch of videos that are leading up to this video. And uh, in one of the previous videos, we made items and we basically have a scriptable object for each of the items that we've added to the game. And one of the ways that you can make a lot of items really quickly is to reuse the same item and just change the color on it. And this is very common, in like a lot of games. So for example, we have the bronze helmet, which gives you one armor. We've got the iron helmet. It gives you two armor and etc. right? So uh, bronze, iron, gold, uh, diamond, magic. And uh, what we want to do is we want to make it so that in the last video, we added an item level to the item. So the bronze helmet is level one, the magic helmet is level five. And it could be something like if you have progressed to a certain stage in the game, or you've done a certain thing, or you've unlocked it, maybe you unlock these different levels and you can get different items based on your level. That's definitely a possibility. But today, what we're going to do is we're actually going to work on using a weighted random to have the red helmet show up significantly less often than the bronze helmet. So the bronze helmet should be something you find maybe every game you find it or whatever. It's common, right? But the magic helmet should show up almost never. And it each one of these should have a less chance of dropping because it's more useful as an item. So I'm going to show you how to do a weighted random to random between these and the higher the level is, the less likely it will be to drop. Okay, so this is the script and this is a script that we made in the video where we generated the item. So initially it was just this initialized item room item and down here, the way that the random used to work is it would take the list of available items and it would get a random number between zero and the available items in the list. So all of the items would have an equal chance of spawning. And then it would instantiate that onto the, um, there's like a little altar that's in the middle of the item room that gets generated and it would spawn it on top of the altar. So the thing that we want to change today is we want it to random based on the level of the item. So if we open paint here, um, this is the way that, so this is the script that does that. So if you want, you could just copy it and that's, that's how it's working, right? So it, let's say we have five items. So one, two, three, four, five. And uh, let's say item one is level four and uh, number two is uh, three and level uh, the third one is level five and this is level one and this is level two. Okay, we're just gonna make it random just because it's, it's better that way. So the first thing we need to do is get the total weight of all of these items added together. And the total weight is actually one divided by the item level because we want the higher number to be a lower chance. So by dividing one by the item level, the higher the division, the lower the chance, right? So if we have the total weight, we'll just write TW here is equal to one divided by four plus one divided by three plus one divided by five plus one. Uh, so the one would just be one and then plus uh, one divided by two. So we're just going to guesstimate that that's like two ish. OK, we're not going to actually do the math on this because that's a waste of time. But if you add all these numbers together, it's not going to be exactly two, but it'll be around two somewhere. Um, so let's say the total weight is two, even though it's not. We've just made up this number, but you should add these will be added in the actual script. I'm just not going to do that because this is just a video. So then we need to get a random weight. So the random weight will be a number between zero like zero and the total weight, which in this case is two. So then we're going through all of the items in the list. And if so, let's let's pick a number. So the random weight in this case is going to be one, but, but it could be a random number between zero and this accepts decimal places as well. So it could be a random between zero and two, any number. It could be a decimal, it could be whatever, right? So the random weight is one in this case. So if we go through the list for each item, if we're adding this, so we have a cumulative weight. It starts at zero and each item in the list, we add the weight of the item to the cumulative weight. So the first item is uh, one quarter, right? And then the second item is one third. And the third item is one fifth. And so these are still not above one and then plus one 
Um, so if the random weight is under, so we're adding these numbers up. So then plus one, this is the number that would trigger this becoming greater than one. So this would end up being the selected item. So the selected item would end up being four in this case. And then this is the code that would instantiate it on the altar. So because this number could be a random, it could be a decimal one, right? Like if this random number could be a point one, that would make this one spawn. If it was uh, anything over 0.25, like 0.26, for example, then this would spawn. So this makes it randomized. And the higher the level is, the lower the chance of the item spawning. All right, guys, thank you so much for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. And like I said at the beginning, you can download the entire project for free in the description of the video. But let me just show you the armor. So the, the diamond helmet has four armor. So when I get hit by the attack, you saw I got hit twice there and it doesn't damage me. And then and now I've been hit four times. If I get hit again, oh, sorry, the fifth hit will damage me. So then I have to get hit four more times. And it, I don't if I walk into it, it doesn't count. So like that's the way the armor is working. Uh, so obviously I'm going to be making the level of the different helmets um, because this is OP, right? Like you would want to be finding this way later in the game because later on the enemies are going to do more than one damage when they hit you. They're not just going to do one damage every single hit. But uh, yeah, if you guys are enjoying the series, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you're enjoying the series or you could also join my Discord if uh, you guys have any questions or anything.